When it comes to building 3D delts that turn heads and screen power, lifting weights alone won't cut it. Most people miss a crucial point, and that's exactly why their shoulders never reach their full potential. Picture this, perfectly sculpted, round delts that pop from every angle. But what's the secret to achieving that? In today's video, we're not just scratching the surface, we're diving deep into the science behind deltoid training. We'll reveal how to transform each head of the deltoid, the front, lateral and rear, into a balanced, powerful and aesthetic masterpiece. This isn't just about random exercises, this is your ultimate blueprint for building those boulder shoulders you've always dreamed of. Whether you're frustrated with your progress or just starting your journey, by the end of this video, you'll not only master the best exercises to target each deltoid head, but also understand the science that drives muscle growth. We'll arm you with advanced techniques that will keep your delts growing and ensure that 3D look stays with you year round. So get ready as we break down the anatomy, debunk common myths and completely redefine your approach to shoulder training. Understanding Deltoid Anatomy Your deltoid muscle isn't just one solid piece, it's a complex trio of muscles working together to shape your shoulders. These three heads, the anterior, front, lateral, side, and posterior, rear, delts, each play a unique role in giving your shoulders that powerful, well-rounded look. Let's break it down. The front delts give your shoulders that strong, forward-facing definition. They're the stars of pushing movements like bench presses and shoulder presses, often getting plenty of indirect work. But here's the catch. Overworking your front delts while neglecting the others can lead to imbalances throwing off your shoulder aesthetics and even increasing your risk of injury. To keep things balanced, it's essential to mix in exercises that target all three heads equally. Studies from the American Council on Exercise show that exercises like the dumbbell shoulder press are top tier for activating the front delts. But remember, balance is key. Want to widen your frame and get that capped, V-tapered look? Then the lateral delts are where you should focus. These muscles are your ticket to broad, commanding shoulders that stand out from the side, Often underdeveloped, the lateral delts are crucial for that true 3D look. A 2020 study found that lateral raises and shoulder presses hit these muscles the hardest. So if you're after that head turning width, make these exercises a non-negotiable part of your routine. Now let's talk about the often overlooked rear delts. These are the muscles at the back of your shoulders, and they're essential for rounding out your shoulder profile and keeping everything balanced. Not only do they play a key role in pulling movements, but they're also crucial for injury prevention. If you ignore your rear delts, your shoulders might look flat and unbalanced, which is the last thing you want. Research points to exercises like the seated rear lateral raise and the 45 degree incline row as top picks for targeting these muscles. A 2022 study also highlighted pull-up variations and exercises like the reverse cable fly as some of the best for activating the rear delts, ensuring they get the attention they deserve. By strategically incorporating exercises that target each head of the deltoid, you're not just building impressive shoulders, you're ensuring balanced development, reducing the risk of injury, and locking in that 3D look that turns heads. Anterior Delt Focus Your front delts often get a lot of love during your chest workouts. Every time you crush a bench press or incline press, your front delts are stepping up to the challenge. But here's the thing, this can sometimes lead to a problem. A study from the 90s in Germany found that many bodybuilders end up with disproportionately large front delts compared to their side delts, all because of the spillover effect from chest exercises. So while it's easy to keep piling on the work for your front delts, it's crucial to be smart and strategic in how you target them directly. Now when it comes to really isolating those front delts, the machine shoulder press is hard to beat. Why? Because being seated on a machine gives you stability, allowing you to focus all your energy on your delts without worrying about balance or form. According to research by the American Council on Exercise, ACE, the machine shoulder press is one of the most effective ways to fire up those front delts. It lets you push your limits, taking your front delts closer to failure without the risk of injury. The fixed path of the machine ensures that you're maximizing tension, especially when you include a deep stretch at the bottom of each rep. Plus, if you're using a unilateral machine, it's a great way to iron out any imbalances between your shoulders. But what if you want to mix things up? That's where the easy bar front raise comes in, a fantastic alternative that deserves a spot in your routine. This exercise is a game changer for isolating the front delts with a huge range of motion. The underhand grip on the easy bar allows for a more natural movement, reducing stress on your joints while still delivering that deep stretch and explosive contraction you need for growth. 
and if you really want to kick things up a notch, try performing this on a cable machine for an even more extended range of motion, ensuring your front delts are fully engaged from start to finish. Lateral Delt Focus If you're aiming for that wide capped look, the side delts are the muscles you need to prioritise. These bad boys are the key to making your shoulders pop, giving you that full, rounded appearance that screams power and athleticism. Think of the side delts as the pillars of shoulder width. Without them, you're just not going to get that complete 3D effect. To truly target the side delts, we start with the classic side lateral raises. But here's where we level up, using both cable and dumbbell variations. The cable version is a game changer because it provides continuous tension on the muscle throughout the entire range of motion. This ensures that your side delts are being worked in both the stretched and contracted positions, which is crucial for maximizing muscle growth. Plus, by using an ankle cuff instead of holding onto a handle, you can eliminate grip fatigue and focus entirely on that delt contraction, driving even better results. But we're not stopping there. Let's talk about incorporating partial ranges of motion and focusing on lengthened positions to take your side delt activation to the next level. There's a new area of research called long muscle length training which suggests that muscles tend to grow better when they're challenged in their stretch position. While this study primarily focused on biceps, the principles apply to side delts as well. For example, with dumbbell lateral raises, you might find that they're easier at the bottom when the delt is fully stretched but hardest at the top. This is the opposite of what you want for optimal growth. That's why exercises like behind the body cable lateral raises, where the side delt is stretched behind you, can be particularly effective. These variations allow you to challenge the muscle in its most advantageous position. If you don't have access to cables, don't worry. You can apply the same principle with dumbbells. Start with full reps, then finish your set with partial reps at the bottom to keep tension on those stretched delts. This approach ensures you're pushing your muscles in the best way possible, driving growth, and giving you that wide 3D shoulder look. Posterior Delt Focus Often overlooked but absolutely essential, well-developed rear delts are the unsung heroes of balanced shoulders and injury prevention. Your shoulder joint is a delicate balance between the anterior, medial and posterior delts, and if you're neglecting the rear delts, you're setting yourself up for potential problems like impingement or rotator cuff issues. To keep your shoulders strong and healthy, a well-rounded shoulder routine must include exercises that specifically target these posterior muscles, not just for a balanced look, but for long-term joint health. Let's dive into one of the most effective exercises for isolating and building those rear delts. The Lying Incline Dumbbell Rear Delt Raise This move is a game changer because it targets the rear delts while minimizing trap involvement. According to research from the American Council on Exercise, this exercise is designed to hone in on the rear delts without letting stronger muscles like the traps or lats take over. Here's how to do it. Lie face down on a 45 degree incline bench with dumbbells in hand. As you raise the dumbbells, focus on pulling through your elbows and keeping your arms perpendicular to your torso. This ensures that your rear delts are fully engaged throughout the movement, helping you achieve that balanced 3D shoulder look while reducing the risk of injury. Next up is the Rear Delt Fly, another powerhouse for rear delt development. To perform this exercise, sit on the edge of a bench, lean slightly forward and keep your back flat. With dumbbells in hand, raise your arms out to the sides, maintaining a slight bend in your elbows. The key here is to focus on a sweeping motion that keeps your traps out of the equation and ensures the tension stays on the rear delts. This technique not only helps fully develop the posterior delts, but also contributes to a balanced and strong shoulder profile. Advanced Tips When it comes to deltoid training, finding the right balance between volume and intensity is key. Research shows that for optimal muscle growth or hypertrophy, you should aim for 10 to 20 sets per week for each muscle group, including the delts. But it's not just about hitting a certain number of sets, it's about how you execute them. To truly maximize growth, you need to challenge your muscles by working across different rep ranges, keeping them guessing and adapting. Start with heavy compound movements like the dumbbell shoulder press, targeting four to six reps per set to build raw strength. Then shift to isolation exercises like lateral raises or rear delt flies, where you can increase the rep range to 12 to 20 reps per set. This approach ensures that you're recruiting all types of muscle fibers, from slow twitch to fast twitch, which is crucial for overall shoulder development. But don't just stick to one rep range. Cycling between phases where you focus on lower reps with heavier weights and phases where you do higher reps with moderate weights can be a game changer. 
This method, known as undulating periodization, has been shown to be particularly effective for muscle growth because it continuously challenges your muscles in new ways, preventing plateaus and keeping your training fresh. Let's talk about pre-exhaustion techniques, an advanced strategy that can help you engage weaker muscles, like the front delts, before moving on to compound exercises. By starting with isolation movements like front raises, you can pre-fatigue these muscles, ensuring they're fully engaged during heavier lifts like the military press. This can not only enhance muscle activation, but also help alleviate shoulder pain, especially in the anterior delts. However, pre-exhaustion has had mixed reviews in scientific studies. One study found that while pre-exhaustion reduced the number of reps performed, it didn't significantly affect overall muscle fatigue compared to traditional exercise order. Another study highlighted that while pre-exhaustion didn't boost muscle activation, it did increase fatigue in specific muscles, such as the posterior delts. So while pre-exhaustion might not be a magic bullet, it's a valuable tool when used strategically to address muscle imbalances and ensure more balanced development. If you found this helpful, check out these two videos. They're full of tips to take your training to the next level and get those impressive shoulders. Keep pushing yourself and I'll see you in the next one.